Welcome back to Outside Today, hanging out here at the Outside Summer House, another gorgeous day. And right now we're really excited because we have a very special guest, a rock climber in the house, Sierra Blair Coyle. Welcome. Hey, thank you for having me. How's it going today? <laughs> Great, you know, I'm loving the weather, beautiful set. Yeah, I know. Nice <laughs> so, I mean, beautiful young lady, only 19 years old, and here you are, a professional climber. How did you first get into this? I first got into climbing at an outdoor mall by my house. They had a rock wall and you know, I tried it and fell in love with it. So every day I'd beg my parents to take me back and I would stay for hours on end. And a couple weeks after I decided, you know, climbing was my new love, we saw an article in the newspaper about a climbing gym and how they had a climbing team that went to competitions. So, you know, I joined the climbing team and the rest is kind of history. So what do your parents think? They've got this, um, I guess you were eight, eight year old daughter. Of all the things that their daughter could have done, she comes home and she's hooked on climbing. What, what, what do they think about that? They were really excited. I yeah. mean, my parents will support me in whatever I do, so cool. they're just excited that I had a passion that you know I love. Absolutely. And so let's talk about some of those accomplishments. Okay, um, I'm a two-time national champion. I'm a U.S. team member. You know, I've placed in top five at multiple professional competitions, and you know, I've gotten to travel with my amazing sponsors and just do really crazy fun things around the world. I was curious, we were, we were talking earlier just about how the sport of competitive climbing works. Like, mm -hmm. fill us in on what's the tour all about? How do the competitions work? What's the U.S. team, you know, how does that work? Yeah. Okay, so kind of the professional tour in the United States is called the Unified Bouldering Championships Pro Tour. So they'll have a couple of events a year. And then the main, like, nationals for the U.S., where everyone's at, is run by USA Climbing, and it's called ABS Nationals. And from there, they partially pick the U.S. team, and U.S. team members are the people who get to travel to the World Cups and represent the U.S. Cool, and yeah. I've heard that there's a chance for the 2020 Olympics, perhaps? Oh yeah, I'm rooting for climbing hard, but if it's in the 2020 Olympics, it'll be difficulty, bouldering, and speed. So okay. to kind of sum that up, difficulty is basically climbing with a rope, bouldering is climbing without a rope, and then speed is how fast you can get to the top. So right. to compete in climbing in the Olympics, you'll have to do all three events, which oh, will wow. be really interesting. And this so, is something that you would like to do, obviously. Oh yeah, I would love to go to the Olympics. I mean, I didn't know how possible it would be when I first started climbing, but now I'm like Olympic gold. It's on the list. There you <laughs> go. That'd be so cool. <laughs> so you, difficulty, speed, and bouldering, of those three, like what's your forte? What, what, what are you best at? You know, I like bouldering the best, but I think I might be the best at speed. Oh, really? So. So Quick. you touched on travel. I mean, that's such a great way to experience a new place is actually through climbing. Mm -hmm. yep. So if we pooled our money and could send you anywhere in the world, where would you want to go climb? I would want to go climbing in Mallorca in Spain because it is beautiful and nice. I would love to go deep water soloing over the ocean. Oh beautiful. my God, that sounds so awesome. We're coming with you. Yeah, sounds sounds good. I know that's been on my list as well. So yeah, <laughs> we will maybe come with you. Um, and I was going to ask you about the uh, coaching, you, you know, as a young professional mm -hmm. climber, a lot of you guys have coaches. You mentioned uh, your dad is coaching you, is that true? Yeah, my yeah. dad is my climbing coach and wow. my mom is actually my strength training coach. So it's very family oriented yeah. and I love it. Nice. Oh, that's gotta be so great for them to not only watch you but participate in your sort of professional career. Yeah, I mean, I know my parents love being involved. I love them being involved. And it's just, it's a great relationship for me to have with them. That's good. You're not like, Mom, leave me yeah. alone. I don't want to strength train. Seriously? <laughs> There's a lot of moving parts to a career as a professional athlete. And yeah. are, you've got all these sponsors. You've got media mm -hmm. engagements. I mean, you're sitting here with us. Yeah. And she's got school. Don't forget about school. That's right. School yeah. is very important yeah. as well. I mean, that's going to be a key to your success mm -hmm. down the road. How involved are your parents in sort of managing your day-to-day -day affairs with, like, sponsors and whatnot? And tell us about your sponsors and stuff, too. Um, they didn't used to be involved with it. I mean, I handled everything, but now, honestly, I really do have a full plate. So yep. my parents will kind of help coordinate things, just, you know, like if I have a photo shoot, you know, maybe getting some of the logistics set up. But, I mean, I'm still very involved with my sponsors. You know, I'm talking to them all the time. Tell us about how you, how you work with Roxy. Okay, Roxy's awesome because they just launched the Roxy Outdoor Fitness line. So it's really great outdoor clothing for, you know, any athlete, not just a climber. You know, any sport it really fits into. Yep. Mm -hmm. And... It's been really fun. I've gotten to do some photo shoots with them and just be involved with designing some of the clothes, and I really okay. like it. Good. Well, keep up the good work. Thank you. Thanks yes. so much for being here. We'll be, we'll be following your career in 2020. <laughs> oh, awesome. it's, That's uh, right. We'll look for you in 2020. It'll be here before we know it, actually. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, Sierra. Thanks. Thank you.